Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial series on Angular 8 where we will be using Angular 8 uh, and Web API to create a simple full stack web app from scratch. So for the front end we are using Angular 8 and for the back end part we are using the ASP.NET Web API project along with the database which is Microsoft SQL Server. So you can basically create the APIs in whatever technology you would like to. You can create the APIs using Python or Java or any other technology that you wish to. Consuming these APIs uh, is similar. So once you have these APIs ready, you can consume uh, it in, in your Angular 8 project in a similar way. So that doesn't change, right? That doesn't change much. So for this project, uh, we are uh, uh, using Web API and Angular 8. So we're going to start off by installing uh, Microsoft SQL Server and Management Studio and then we move on to create the databases and the tables required for our application and then we move on to uh, creating the ASP.NET Web API project where we are going to implement the Web API methods for the tables that we had created right in Microsoft SQL Server. So basically, we're going to use the get, put, post, and uh, delete methods for the tables that we just created. And then finally, we move on to creating the Angular 8 application, okay, Angular 8 project. So I'll just briefly uh, give a demo about uh, what the project looks like. The, the project basically has uh, two tabs, right, two pages, a department page and employee page and on click of each of those tabs or uh, buttons or uh, navigation menu you can see the URL changes right so on click of employee the URL is employee on click of departments the URL is department so we will learn how to use routing in angular to be able to do this and then we have this navigation menu uh, where we have uh, two tabs departments and employees we will be using bootstrap style navigation menu for this and then we have the on click of each of the steps we can see the tables right the department tab has the department details table and the employee tab has the employee details table so this is a material design style table so we will learn how to consume the get method from the apis and display the results in tabular format using the material design style table so the table itself has filter, I mean, sorting functionality. So you can see the it is sorting in ascending and descending order. And also it has the filtering capability. So we'll have, we'll, learn, we'll see how to implement this sorting and filtering. And on click of add department, you can see a material uh, model, you know, uh, dialog box. So we'll see how to display the dialog box on click of a button. So if click on employees, I'll click on add employee. So you can see some of the form fields like text box, drop downs, and uh, also the date pickers, right? <clears throat> so we'll see how to implement these you know, drop downs and date pickers. And also on click of uh, add employee, you can see there is a material snack bar, okay? It closes automatically. So we'll see how to implement that one as well. And also on click of edit, we have a similar implementation. We're going to populate the existing data, uh, employee ID, employee name. If you want to change, update the record, you can do so. Right. And then finally, the delete method where we'll be deleting a given record from the table. So we'll be using the API methods and uh, no, delete the records from the given table. So that is it. 